Dear students, we have been studying about the computers, various types of computers, functions of computers, and peripheral devices. Now in this module, you shall be able to know about what are computer crimes, characteristics of computer crimes, violent computer crimes, and nonviolent computer crimes. First, introduction. Today, we live in a world of global connectivity. We can have spontaneous discussion or conduct multi-million dollar financial dealings with individuals on the other side of the planet inexpensively and quickly. As internet usage is growing continuously, the world is coming closer. There is no uncertainty at present that computer generated environments have presented new levels of efficacy, connectivity and throughput to business of all types the world over. However, it has also managed to create a major problem for all the people using the new virtual world, which is computer crimes. Computer crime has become a profession. It refers to criminal offenses committed using computer, computer on the internet or another computer network as a component of the crime. It has changed the cyber criminals from the traditional bedroom bound geeks to the type of those organized gangsters who are now associated with money laundering, drug trafficking and extortion. The computer crimes can be classified as violent and non-violent computer crimes. The type of viruses, worms, trojans to infect a system to spread itself over the network is not new but the advancement achieved in these causes irreversible destruction to the infected system and the network. Computer crimes have risen so dramatically over the recent years that they have replaced the old fashioned organized crimes. Now, what are computer crimes? Computer crimes refer to criminal activity where the computer or the network is the source, tool, target or the place of the crime. Computer crime is a broad and generic term. Computer crimes in simple terms can be put as criminal activity involving an information technology infrastructure, including illegal access, illegal interception, data interference and system interference, misuses of devices, forgery and electronic frauds. Cyber crimes refers to criminal offenses committed using the internet or another computer network as a component of the crime. The difference between computer crime and cyber crime is the mechanism that is used to victimize people. As mentioned in the definition of cyber crimes, the computers and the networks can participate in the crimes in several different ways. Some of them are the computer or the network can be used to commit the crime. Second, the computer or the network can be the target or the victim of the crime. The computer or the network can be used to store information related to certain crimes. Now classifying computer crimes. Computer crime can be categorized in several ways. Computers which are not connected to the internet standalone computer are used as source as well as victim. When targeted as a victim, the major type of crimes committed are piracy, hardware theft and software theft. Hardware theft refers to stealing of the hardware components of the computer. Other types of crimes like piracy and software theft are also among the ones which were committed using internet. Computers which are connected to the internet can be used as victims as well as to commit crimes. Such type of crimes are known as cyber crimes. They can be divided into two very broad categories, violent or potentially violent computer crimes and non-violent crimes. First, we'll discuss about violent or potentially violent crimes. Violent or potentially violent crimes are considered as of having highest priorities. These offenses pose a physical danger to both individuals and groups of people. These crimes are basically against an individual or against any government body. Types of violent or potentially violent crimes include first cyber terrorism, assault by threat, cyber stalking, child pornography and child abuse, dissemination of offensive materials and harassment. 
Now we'll discuss all these in detail. First, cyber terrorism. The US Department of State defines terrorism as premeditated, politically motivated violence perpetrated against non-combat targets by subnational groups or clandestine agents. Cyber terrorism is sometimes referred to as information war or electronic terrorism. A cyber terrorist attack is supposed to cause physical violence or extreme financial war. It includes using emails for communication between conspirators to impact information to be used in violent activities to destroy resources and cause a mass scale disaster as well as recruiting terrorist group members via websites. The target of cyber terrorism is not always a solo target. A huge population is affected by just attacking the resources they depend on. Second, assault by threat. This computer crime involves placing people in fear for their lives or threatening the lives of their loved ones. Many a times, terrorists threaten the lives of the loved ones and make them to do their work. So then, all the conviction goes to the person and not on the terrorist groups. The threat can be of life or of revealing a big secret in public that will cause a fall in the reputation of the person. Third, cyber stalking. The computer crime investigation cell of the crime branch of criminal investigation department defines cyber stalking as the repeated acts of harassment or threatening behavior of cyber criminal towards the victim by using internet services. Stalking can be generally defined as the repeated acts of harassment, targeting the victim such as following the victim, making harassing phone calls, killing the victim's pet, leaving written messages or object at the victim's place or surrounding. Next is child pornography and child abuse. It consists of various facets, individuals who are engaged in the activity of creating pornographic materials using minor children, individuals who distribute these items and also those people use them. When computers and networks are used for any of these activities, child pornography becomes a computer crime. It is generally considered a violent crime. Even if the persons involved in these had no physical contact with the children. Fifth is dissemination of offensive materials. A lot of objectionable content exists on the internet. This includes sexually explicit materials, racist propaganda, and many a times instructions for the fabrication of explosive devices. The telecommunication systems can be used for harassing or threatening people. Next is harassment. It can be defined as the vulgarities at particular person centering such as on gender, race, religion, nationality, sexual orientation, and more. This often occurs by sending hate emails to the victim and defaming them publicly to make them react in a way the criminal wanted. Next, we will discuss about nonviolent crimes. Most computer crimes are nonviolent offenses due to the reason that the defining characteristic of the online world is the ability to interact devoid of any physical contact. Nonviolent computer crimes can be further divided as follows. Frauds, cyber trespass, cyber theft, drug trafficking, corporate account takeover, piracy, electronic money laundering and tax evasion, illegal interception of telecommunications, IRC, that is internet relay chat crimes, net extortion, phishing, cyberbullying and destructive crimes. Frauds are further divided into cyber fraud, tax refund fraud, investment fraud, electronic funds transfer frauds, and credit card frauds. Also destructive crimes are classified into cyber vandalism, viruses and other mal malicious, repeat, viruses and other malicious codes, internet gambling, internet drug sales, cyber contraband, IP spoofing, ARP spoofing, DNS spoofing, and DOS attacks. 
we shall be discussing them in detail. First, computer frauds. Computer frauds can be defined as the use of information technology to commit frauds that include computers, the internet, money transactions, investments, and credit cards. Tax refunds to cause monetary or a financial gain at the end. The different types of frauds are, first, cyber frauds. Cyber frauds involve offering falsehoods to obtain something of value or benefit. In here, the victim voluntarily gives the money or property to the criminal, but would not have done so if the criminal hadn't made any misrepresentation or false promise of some kind. Next is tax refund fraud. The process of tax refund fraud goes like this. The cyber criminal first obtains the valid name and social security number. The cyber criminal then makes a withholding information claim standard deductions and perhaps tax credits and completes a return that creates or generates a large refund. The cyber criminal files the return. The criminal then simply waits for either a check to be mailed, a direct transfer of fund to be made to a safe bank account. Next is investment frauds. Investment frauds targets individuals. The fraudsters use convincing arguments to make people part with their savings. The types of fraudsters usually want the individual to invest their money in a company or an opportunity which seems to be offering very high rates of return. Next is electronic funds transfer frauds. Electronic funds transfer systems have developed and the chances of getting intercepted has also increased. Valid credit card numbers can be intercepted electronically and the digital information stored on the card can be counterfeited and used by the criminal. This crime also includes transferring large amount of money or shares from one bank account to another bank account. Next is credit card frauds. Credit cards are the most frequently used electronic payment instrument. Credit card fraud is a form of identity theft that involves an unauthorized taking of another's credit card information for making purchases of huge amount or just withdrawing funds from them. Next is cyber trespass. In these offenses, criminal assesses resources that a computer or a network needs without any kind of authorization. The primary aim of trespassing is to enter the computer or the network. The criminal does not need to damage or misuse the data contained in the computer or network. Cyber trespassing involves the act of snooping around in the computer or the network. Next is cyber theft. Cyber theft refers to the act of stealing of financial and or personal information through the use of computers for making its fraudulent or other illegal use. Many different types of cyber thefts are a theft of sensitive data. In simple words, getting access to and stealing of sensitive data is referred to as theft of sensitive data. The sensitive data consists of unencrypted credit card information, personally identifiable information, trade secrets, source code of any software or application, all employee records, and so on. Next is theft of intellectual property. Intellectual property includes commercial copyrighted materials like music, movies, and books. They are always at risk of being stolen. Next is identity theft. Identity theft occurs when a cyber criminal successfully steals a person's personal identifiable information. The crime ends with the victim suffering from any financial loss or any kind of damage that can be done with the data. Identity theft can undergo undetected for a significant period of time. Next is embezzlement. It involves misappropriating money or property for one's own use that has been given or entrusted to them by someone else or some organization. E, 
unlawful appropriation. In this crime, the criminal gains access to the valuables from outside the organization and transfer the funds, modifies documents giving him the title of the owner of the property that he never owned. F, corporate or industrial, espionage. In this crime, person inside or outside the company uses the network to steal the important data of the company. This important data includes the trade secrets, financial data, confidential client lists, marketing strategies, etc. G, plagiarism. It is the theft of someone else's original writing with the intent of passing it off as someone's own work. H, DNS cash poisoning. It is a form of unauthorized interception in which the contents of the computer's DNS cache is manipulated so that all the network transmissions going to that specific domain name is redirected to the attacker's servers. Now fourth type is drug trafficking. Drug traffickers are increasingly taking advantage of the internet to sell the illegal drugs and substance through encrypted emails and other internet technologies. Many of the drug traffickers arrange deals at the internet cafe. They track illegal packages of pills using courier websites and also share and develop recipes for amphetamines in restricted access chat rooms. These virtual exchanges allow more intimidated individuals to more easily and comfortably purchase illegal drugs. Fifth is corporate account takeover. Corporate account takeover means the purchase of one corporate account by another. It begins by illicitly acquiring login credentials by using a malicious program so that the victim uses the malicious program without noticing it. The attacker then gains access to the victim's computer and transfers the funds to the account of the criminal. Sixth is piracy. Piracy can be defined as the act of unauthorized copying of copyrighted software, music, movies, art, books and so on resulting in the loss of revenue and benefits to the legitimate owner of the copyright. Seventh, electronic money laundering and tax evasion. It involves using the internet to hide the origins of money which was obtained through illegal means. Online banking also offers opportunities for criminals who can open accounts without meeting banking officials face to face. Eighth, illegal interception of telecommunications. Illegal interception means interception of the personal and confidential without the consent of the members of the conversation. Many a times calls are tapped or intercepted to know the conversation. Existing law does not provide interception as legal. Ninth, IRC, Internet Relay Chat Crimes. IRC, servers have chat rooms in which people from anywhere in the world can come together and can chat with each other. Criminals use IRC rooms to meet co-conspirators. Hackers use them to discuss their exploits or share their techniques. Tenth, net extortion. Cyber extortion or net extortion is a crime involving an attack or threat of attack against an enterprise or a corporate company coupled with a demand for money to stop or avert the attack. The method nowadays used by the cyber criminals is to use ransom. Where they encrypt the victim's data, the attacker then demands for the decryption key. Eleventh, phishing. Phishing is an email fraud method in which the perpetrator sends out legitimate looking emails in an attempt to gather personal and financial information from the recipient person. The emails directs the user to update their personal information such as passwords and credit card passcodes, update social security and bank account numbers. The email 
that asks for such detail redirects the user to a fake site that looks legitimate and is set up to steal the user's information. Twelfth, cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is bullying done through electronic technology. This electronic technology, including devices and equipment such as cell phones, computers, tablets, and social media sites, text messages, chat, and various other websites. The examples of cyberbullying includes mean text messages or emails, or rumors sent through emails or posted on social networking sites, or embarrassing pictures, videos, or uploading offensive data on websites. Cyberbullying is often committed by students. The most important, destructive crimes. Destructive computer crimes are those which include network services being disrupted or data is damaged or destroyed rather than stolen or misused. Each of these crimes deprives the authorized users of the data and or network of their use. Some of the descriptive computer crimes are A. Cyber vandalism. Cyber vandalism can be random act just, just for fun by board hackers with a malicious streak or it might be a form of computer sabotage for profit which includes erasing all the files of business competitor or erasing someone's personal identifiable data. B. Viruses and other malicious codes. They comprise a huge problem to all internet connected computers. A computer virus is a program that causes unwanted and often destructive results when it is run. Viruses affect the program or application's smooth functioning, causing it to malfunction or stop working. A worm is a virus that replicates itself. It often spreads after replication, affecting every program in its way. Trojans act as a way to get a virus or worm into the network or computer. C. Internet gambling. Internet gambling has flourished with online customers able to place bets in virtual casinos using credit cards. It is also known as online gambling and eye gambling and in simple terms is gambling using the internet. The different types of internet gambling are poker, casinos, sports betting, bingo, lotteries, horse racing betting, mobile gambling, in-play gambling and advanced deposit waggering. D. Internet drug sales. Buying and selling prescription drugs off the internet results in criminal charges of illegal drug distribution or conspiracy to manufacture illegal drugs. Both the trafficking of illegal drugs and the sale of prescription drugs by online pharmacists are growing problems. E. Cyber contraband. Cyber contraband refers to data that is illegal to possess or transfer. Cyber contraband simply refers to transferring illegal items through the internet that is banned in some places. F. IP spoofing. IP spoofing involves changing the packet headers of a message to indicate that it came from an IP address other than the true source. Here the sending computer impersonates another machine and fools the recipient into accepting the fake messages. It can be used along with other attacks like ping of death, teardrop and other attacks. Any service that uses IP address authentication is susceptible to IP spoofing. G. ARP spoofing. The address resolution protocol maintains the ARP cache. This is a table that maps IP addresses to media access control, that is MAC or physical address of computers on the network. The MAC address is used at the physical level to locate the destination computer to which the message should be delivered. ARP spoofing, also called as ARP poisoning, is a method of sending forged replies which result in incorrect entries in the 
cache. This result in subsequent messages sent to the wrong computer. H, DNS spoofing. The DNS is responsible for managing the resolution of domain names into an equivalent IP address. Any successful replacement of a valid address with an alternate address causes people attempting to assess the domain name to visit the wrong website. This gives attackers a chance to create their own website that masquerades as a legitimate site and to attempt to steal all kind of information by getting between the user and the real site. I, DOS attack. DOS attack known as denial of service attack is one of the most popular choices of hackers to disrupt the network's operations. This disruption can cause the network to either slow down or crash the entire network. The purpose of the DOS attack is to make a network inaccessible by generating a type or amount of network traffic that crashes the server, overwhelms the routers or otherwise prevents the network's devices from functioning properly. The other type of DOS attack, also known as distributed DOS or DDoS attacks, use intermediary computers called as agents on which programs known as zombies are installed secretly without the consent of the person to whom it belongs. Then the hacker activates the zombie programs remotely, causing the intermediary computers to simultaneously launch the attack. It appears that the attack has originated from the zombie and hence the hacker remains safe. Now we'll conclude this module with the summary. Computer crimes refer to criminal activity where the computer or the network is the source, tool, target or place of the crime. Cybercrime refers to criminal offenses committed using the internet or another computer network as a component of the crime. The difference between computer crime and cyber crime is the mechanism that is used to victimize people. The characteristics of computer crimes are the computer or the network can be used to commit the crime. The computer or the network can be the target or the victim of the crime. The computer or the network can be used to store information related to certain crimes. Computer crimes can be classified into two, violent or potentially violent computer crimes and non-violent crimes. Some of the violent computer crimes are cyber terrorism, assault by threat, cyber stalking, child pornography and child abuse, dissemination of offensive materials and harassment. Some of the non-violent computer crimes are computer frauds, Cyber trespass, cyber theft, drug trafficking, corporate account takeover, piracy, electronic money laundering and tax evasion, illegal interception of telecommunications, IRC, crimes, net extortion, phishing, cyberbullying and destructive crimes. It is important to realize that criminals have begun to incorporate computers and the internet in their crimes for specific reasons.